Uh, I love games. Is it possible to eat $5, $10 spins without rig back? With a sword chip V, let's say plus 25. What should we focus on a rig back? And Defrau just subscribed. Well, Jonas gifted another. So, thank you very much, Mr. Jonas. That's very nice of you. Um, should we just pot this against recreational or what? I'm going to go slightly bigger because I'm just going to go like this. There's a lot that we'll call here. So a lot of opponents will see like a jack six of spades and just think, oh, I've got a gut shot. I'm going to call. Or two overs and think, oh, I'm going to call. And if he does end up tank folding with like a, let's say, a, a jack ten, it's not the end of the world. Like we have pretty marginal equity against a lot of those mar those uh, in elastic combos and he's never falling in eight he's never falling in seven never falling in seven five anything like that so i think sizing up there and just shoving turn makes sense wouldn't be balanced absolutely not would never bluff that sizing but it's a it's a someone i've never played with before and most likely given a limp and a three and five x someone that isn't a full-time spin grinder just in terms of they're not falling into the traditional patterns of a spin player. It is probably possible to have a limp and a 3.5x and be, you know, have that solved, but um, yeah. Tom, if you, knew, if you knew the power of the red line, I'm all about the blue line, any. I just let my red line tank and then I just win a blue line. Just keep folding. That's what I'm going to do. I've made peace with it. It's all right. Uh, I love games. I was answering your question. Sorry. So, is it possible to eat $5, $10 flash flashbins? Um, yes. Uh, should we focus only on rake back? Honestly, the answer is it depends. So, just do some maths. Figure out what makes you the most amount of EV. Also, consider both... Uh, I'm going to fold it. Uh, both short-term EV and long-term EV. So, where... Um, uh, Think about your hourly, for example. You know, if you obviously if you play a fewer ta if you play fewer tables, your chip is likely going to be a bit higher, but you may make less rake back. So if you have to play five thousand games a month to make your sixty five percent, it's going to be quite tough, but it's doable. However, your chip fee is going to suffer a lot if you are ten or twelve tabling compared to if you are three or four tabling. Um, and so I would also encourage you just to pursue what you enjoy so if you really enjoy playing a low table count and keeping your the d decision quality as high as possible i would say just go for that if you enjoy the challenge of playing lots of tables and you you have a, a let's say good endurance then take that approach no problem at all um but, but there's no one size fits all answer i'm afraid i can't i can't give you that if you force me to pick one i would say get as high chip with you as possible because I think most people find Pokemon more fun when they win at a higher rate uh, and therefore there's less burnout and, and less um, invisible volume killers which are harder to plan for but if you play 10 tables for 4 hours a day it's obviously far more exhausting than playing for 2 or 3 tables for 4 hours a day and therefore you may have to take more days off, stuff like that hopefully that helps, let me know if any follow up questions, no problem at all Old Max something. Hello, everybody. I'm going to try a limp here. He's been 3.5x in a bunch. We're just limp folding with 3.5x's. My 3x's now. Uh, but I thought maybe he might also check uh, a hand occasionally. I don't know if he'll have an ISO bluff here. If he's not ISO bluffing, he can limp a lot. Uh, if he is ISO bluffing, that would be probably a bad limp. But we don't know. Hello, everybody. Good to see you again, Tomo. What a night of goals. Hey, Liverpool had a good training session. Big favourite for the Champions League. Good luck at the table. See you on Sunday's draw. Thank you very much, Omar Something. We appreciate that. Uh, they did very well. We're very happy. A little bit worried about the Firmino injury, but was a very relaxing game to watch, which is always nice because the game was pretty much over after half an hour, and then they just said it was a bit like playing Man United. Just like, should we go get more goals? Nah. Just whatever. And so lovely to be in a situation where uh, last two games are quite relaxed. That's great. Now ending with 651 streams, life can be good. Absolutely. We're going to call it. There should be some dominated hands that he shoves. If he's got a hand like 10 9 suited, jacked and suited, queen jack suited, they should all be jams. Uh, we're in decent shape against like an ace 5 or whatever. And you'd expect most of the overpairs, like dominating overpairs, queens, kings, aces, may sometimes mean raise here. Um, so yeah, in fine shape. Actually the best shape, 300. 
uh, even though we had kind of the worst hand, which is one of the weird things. <laughs> the worst hand and somehow had the best EV, so we'll take it. Given there was a random, we'll play uh, another game here and see if we can get another. No, they both quit. That's sad. Okay, back up to the high stakes. We'll try another 500. And he says, balance is a lie. There is only aggression. Through aggression, I gain chips. Through chips, I gain power. And he's been hard on the age of Empire's grind, I think. <laughs> the red line shall set me free. Very true indeed. Very true. I, I like your fundamentalism, though, towards it. I work with many a player that have the same similar approaches. Well, I could call, I could fold here, and I think it's probably plus you fold, but my red line would suffer, so I think I've just got a call. And you're like, oh, okay. I've got to zoom past all these spinning heads as we call the a6, and we win the flip. Any making a five width pyramid, congratulations. Nice, nice, nice. We go again. Did we win that for hundreds? Do do a rat do a razzva says what's a normal chip of V for twenty thousand stars? Do you mean in reg speeds or in flash games? In reg speeds, I would say what's achievable at twenty fives. You could definitely achieve sixty plus. I would say probably what's more normal would be like high forties, low fifties, something like that would probably be considered normal. Maybe different these days. I've been off. I haven't played twenty fives for a long time, so. Um, the games may have got a lot of regular, in which case drag all those numbers down a little bit. If you're talking about flash games, or um, then uh, high teens most likely. So probably like 16, 17, 18, something like that would be achievable. Uh, we're going to check this one. I like that we don't have a backdoor diamond spade or club. That's good for a hand in terms of gives him more backdoors to bet call with. So we should, in theory, see fewer folds when we have queen four of hearts than if we had queen four of spades. Because if we have queen four of spades, he can't have queen ten of spades. But when we have queen four of hearts, he could have queen ten of hearts. Queen ten of spades. Is that making sense? I hope so. Uh, king five off for ten bigs. We're just going to jam this, I think. Just remember, it's king five, five off, not king, king, king five off, king four off. King four off is not a jam. I got that wrong. That's why I lost her. Huh? We're going to call these five, though. A Vanzel says, You want a 250 for 750, didn't you? Did I? That's. Yes, I did. Did I? Let's say yes. I think that's true. I'm trying to look back at the stream. We'll try a limp. Abarone's here. Hello, Abarone. For anybody interested in uh, MTTs on Twitch, it's quite a small market, I think. No one, no one actually likes MTTs. They want to see the spins, right? But if you enjoy MTTs on Twitch, go give Abarone a follow because he's a fantastic uh, MTT uh, Twitch streamer. Uh, and he says, why is everyone playing Shuffle at 15 BP? That can't be good, right? That would not be good, no. Uh, there will be a little bit of shove. I mean, there are some hands still to shove and some hands obviously to fold. Ooh, should we try and turn a hand into a bluff and specifically target a weak 5x? Tempting, isn't it? I'm probably not going to because I think we do beat some like 3x and 2x, but and I guess we have showdown against Queen 10. Would be tempting though to maybe sometimes do that because it's not really a board I expect many opponents to have 4x there when it's such a rare spot for us to like value bet, right? So I don't know. How are you doing, Abaron? Nice to see you, mate. How are things treating you? How is the how is the how are the MTT treating you? Can you tell funny joke, please, streamer? Um. Well, my friends uh, laughed at me when I uh, first said I might be telling jokes on Twitch. They ain't laughing now. No. Okay. Uh, let's get another joke then. Um, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. More of my stuff's more just sort of you know situational, not really off the off the cuff. Uh, 
We win with King Jack. Uh, we're going to fold the Jack too. So we're going to raise. We'll be folding versus the show. Ah, I don't know if this is great. I mean, that's probably fine. It's interesting. Uh, Obelis, thank you very much for the follow. All right, well, it worked out pretty perfect for us. Rancho Hossa, was that an F or something? Oh, no, no, you've done just five and then you did a little pyramid. Bueno, bueno, amigo. Mr. Aaron says, yeah, if you, if you guys enjoy watching theoretically abysmal players win loads of dollars, MTT streams are for you. You'll also find a lot of that in spin and go streams. <laughs> uh, we went for a C bet on this board. Definitely some room to not C bet as well. Depends a little bit on what we think of Millie Winner and how he'd respond. Jack of Spades comes. I think we have a fairly easy check with this hand. Six of diamonds would interact with some of the folds we want him to have. So if he has like a, uh, I mean, seven, six with a two diamonds, he'd definitely call this. Uh, Angel PF is now following. Thank you very much for following. Eight, six of diamonds, something like that. He doesn't have tons of those actually when we think about it because a lot of those are going to be, um, yeah. And now it's an interesting one. I don't think we can really do much here. I think we just have to give up. I think we'd rather bl bluff if we had like maybe one of these mists. Um, we would check, for example, some 10x with a spade. If we had a hand like maybe 10 3 with a spade or 9 2 with a spade or something, we have to control the frequencies there. We can't just bet check everything that's bad because we'll be just incredibly exploitative. So, um, yeah. I think we have to make sure that we don't over bluff that spot. And we chop. Nice. Obelis, Party Poker Spin is super cool. I just tried them out first time earlier today. Congratulations, mate. Nice. Um, happy to hear you say that, even though I'm, I, uh, I don't... Uh, I'm not associated with them or anything, but uh, I've been playing on them recently, and yeah, they do a very good job. They rang me today. One thing I will say in credit to Pipe Poker, they rang me today, and they said, uh, hey, we just wanted to check on your responsible gambling. We want to make sure you're okay. And the lady said, what do you do as a job then? And I was like, oh, I'm actually a professional poker player. And she laughed and uh, quite hard. And she went, no, no, what do you actually do as a job? And I'm a professional poker player. And she went, hmm. And then she said, just give me a second. And then I hear her whispering. And they go, they say, he says he's a professional poker player. And then they get someone else in and they say, really? And they didn't believe me. Um, but it was very good. They, they uh, chatted away and... Um, um, I, yeah, it was all good. They said, rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the least in control and 10 being the most in control. And I said 1 because I thought they meant, like, I got the I got the measurements wrong. So suddenly they went, what? Sorry, what did you say? And I went, oh, no, no, 10, 10, 10. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. I'm really in control. And then I said, have you heard of 651 Twitch stream? Expecting them to be like, oh, yeah, we love that. And they're like, what? And I went, it's a spinning ghost stream. And they went, what are spinning ghosts? <laughs> so it wasn't wasn't quite not quite as famous as I thought. Hey, we won that one, and that was a thousand dollars.